Danny here, day 75 on my trip around the world. Staying with Frank. His social security number is 11111111. Frank, you're, you seem to be locked into a game here. This is a whole other world, huh? Yeah. Are you with a group of people online? Um, I'm just with randoms at the moment, but yeah. So what happens? You go onto this uh, quest? Not a quest. It's um, it's pretty. It's a, it's a, it's a mobile. Uh, a mobile. For those who don't know, is um. It's not a quest. It's a mobile. <laughs> mobile. Mobile. What's happening? Did you just die? Yeah, yeah, I died. <laughs> Frank. Just, just. Just to clarify to so those who are watching know what it is, I'm playing League of Legends. League of Legends. Hold on, I'm gonna switch sides here. The light's coming in better over here, Frank. League of Legends. Yeah. Alright, what is this, uh, what is this world you, you, you throw yourself into? What, is this an everyday thing? Um, yeah. Do you have a problem, Frank? No. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I just drink a little bit on the weekends to feel better. You can still function as an adult. <laughs> uh, so what do you do here? What's the, uh, you kill dragons? You... Uh, no, no, see, pretty much you have two teams and that aim, aim is to, um... Annihilate. To destroy your enemy's nexus. Which... Did you die again? Yeah, yeah, I died again. <laughs> when it says defeat like that, <laughs> do you feel it in your heart? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm driving to the airport now in my tiny little car. Goodbye, Brisbane. Hello, Perth. Hello, Perth. Hello, I've arrived safely at Perth. Uh, I am staying in what can best be described as a sparsely furnished child's room. Booked it through Airbnb. Um, the cost is somewhere. This is a very bouncy bed. It turns out, oh my, it reminds me of my prom night, um, which I did not attend, but you know, I have memories of it because I make things up sometimes. What was I saying? Right, I'm in Perth, Airbnb, $80, $20 a night, which is a deal. Uh, I have a safe place. Uh, to call my home. And there's a kitchen, you know? Hold on a second, let me show you that. There's a lamp on the floor. It's, um, you know, that's a choice. It's an artistic choice, I think. Um, the doors, the doors feel paper in construction. Uh, everything in here is of the lowest quality. Um, and extremely inexpensive, which is reflected in the price. So I am extremely happy with it. I woke up today in a bed with pink sheets. Ugh. I've already taken a shower. I just didn't have a towel, so I had to climb back into bed. As part of the human struggle that I'm in, I need to get some, some clothes on and get a few things at the supermarket. Ready to go outside and face the world. Um, not impressed, Perth. It's been going since 5 a.m. At least it consistently sucks. Hey, look, look. I rented another Nissan Malaria. Except this one's a stick shift. Which I think makes things a little more interesting. I actually got a pretty funny story about how all that came together. All right. Let's do this, Perth. Do it. Where am I? I had I rented a car online because uh oh, gotta change gears. Because you gotta rent cars online because that's where the cheap stuff is. To an aggregator of aggregator sites. You know what I mean? Like they have aggregator sites like Expedia. Expedia will check like um, all of the different sites that rent cars like Avis, Budget, Europe Car. Basically all, all the car companies and give you a price that all the car companies give you. Um, then they have these sites that are aggregators of aggregators that basically cheapcarsforrent.com, Expedia.com. Like, a, a site that checks all the sites that checks all the sites. And that's where the deals are, man. Maybe. I don't know. I end up checking all the sites anyway, just because I'm a cheap bastard, and I don't want to spend a dollar more than I have to on anything. So I end up renting the absolute cheapest car on the planet, uh, which is apparently the Nissan Malaria. 
Macaria. Who gives? It's a great little car. I got nothing. And I got nothing. It's a wonderful little car. For sixty dollars, I can get the car for four days. That's about fifteen dollars a day, which is an amazingly inexpensive car if you think about it. And it's from this company called Alamo. Now the thing is, Alamo doesn't operate out of Perth at all. So Alamo rents me a car through a company that is serviced uh, called Red Spot, which is actually a subsidiary of Enterprise. I don't even know who I'm renting the car from to be honest with you. Because the aggregator site that sends me to the uh, to the car agency, Guy Scanner Car Rentals sends me to a site called Cheap Car Rentals and Perth.com, which sends me to, a, there's so many levels, like I don't even understand, like someone somewhere is getting a dollar for this car. Like there's like 15 middlemen, but it's cheaper than all the other direct stuff, so whatever. I get to the counter and the first thing out of this lady's mouth is, today's supposed to be my day off. Right, like I walk up and like, hi, I'm here to rent the car. Today's supposed to be my day off. Like, oh, oh okay. I'm sorry, is that, I understand, but you are here, and you are working, so maybe, maybe we just rent the car to me, maybe that's what happens. Ah! What's your name? What's your driver's license? So I give her this information, because, you know, I realize that is required, and she just starts going off about how she has been working, uh, and today, I wasn't supposed to even come in today. She's sitting there in her pajamas, like she got called in, like some emergency day, like, like today's an emergency. They need you at the rental car counter. Ah! Trish! Where's she? Get Trish! We need Trish today. So she pulls up my thing and she goes, <clears throat> she's like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be $4,400. I was like, what? She's like, the insurance, the insurance for the car is $4,400. And I'm like, are you, I got, it's supposed to be $60, you know, $15 a day. And she was like, well, yeah, but that's without insurance. If you want insurance, it could be $4,000. So I was like, oh, surely there's some sort of payment plan you could put me on. This isn't exactly the deal I thought it was going to be. Now, obviously, that's not what she meant. Obviously, she meant that would I be willing to assume the liability of the $4,400 should there be an accident? She didn't say that, and I was in no mood, because I already didn't like her. To be honest with you, her attitude needed a little adjustment. So I thought, yeah, I'm the guy. Anyway, she gets all uppity, right? She goes, uh, sure you don't want the extra insurance? No, I'm sure I don't want to pay an extra $20 a day, you know, for, for nothing because nothing's gonna happen to the car. And she's like, are you sure? She's like, so if anything bad happens, this is a great carrot. She said, if anything bad happens to the car, and I was like, if anything happens to the car, anything, a tiny little scratch, it's gonna cost me four grand? She's like, yeah, yeah, that's our fee for dealing with stuff. Confronted with all sorts of decisions. I choose the chocolate surrenders. They are half the cost. Name brand Tim Tams. So then I started asking her, I was like, it's like, oh, so a tiny little scratch, and it's it's $4,000, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, a tiny little scratch, it's $4,000. She's like, really? Yep. So I was like, okay. So, so if I drive the car into the ocean, it's $4,000. She's like, ocean? I was like, yeah, if I drive the car into the ocean, it's four, It's gonna cost me just $4,000? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, the car is certainly worth more than four grand. You know, this seems like a deal, doesn't it? My, my liability is capped at four Gs. I'm covered, baby. I was like, are you sure you can't put the entire value of the vehicle on my credit card and then just kind of refund it to me when I return it to you unscathed? You certainly did not appreciate my witticism. Antiperspirant, dry scalp care, ooh. What? When does shampoo cost sixteen dollars? And she's like looking at me like, are you gonna drive the car into the ocean? I'm like, I don't know. Seems like a great deal if I do. I'm like if it gets a tiny scratch, I might as well drive it into the ocean, right? I mean, why wouldn't I? If you're gonna if you're gonna charge me the same amount of money for a tiny scratch or completely total the vehicle, I might as well. At this point, some other manager type person comes over and is like, hey, is everything okay over here? Because I'm getting a little heated. And I'm like, I don't know. Why didn't you ask the lady who's not supposed to be here today? All right. If you don't like your job, don't take it out on me. No. It's not my fault. I'm just trying to rent a car. Yeah, I, I totally understand how the insurance game here works. You want me to total the car. If I get a tiny scratch on it, I will total this shit. I will enter it into a derby. I'll go full jackass through a dirt lot. I'll drive this thing through a goddamn hospital because it's only gonna cost me four grand either way. Welcome to Perth! So that's pretty much like the first five minutes in Perth. I've got a couple people on Facebook says they're gonna show me around. I'm gonna cut this little story together for you guys. Maybe contact those Facebook people. See what there is to see. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I'm not a total dick to everybody I meet right away. I'm generally very, very nice to people. But the second gear am I in? First bitch! But the second I feel like we're disrespecting each other now, is that what we're doing? Is that the game we're playing? Miss, miss, Mr. and Mrs. Disrespect gonna come over to visit? Second that occurs, I just, I'm binary. Zero and one. Oh, and oh, take it to the mat. Where the fuck am I? Huh. This isn't where I live. 
This is some kind of industrial park. All right, time to look at the map.